That's why he's got up. And his little cat instincts he is unable to contain. I can tell you almost categorically that he's been spotted. No, he hasn't. There was a there was an impala staring right here. They're going off into the thicket now. Now it's a group of it's a bachelor group of males. And they don't seem to be, I mean, there's nothing there that I think that, he, all of that's too big for him. I don't think he could take something like that on, unless he was very lucky. And he might be able to get them if they were in the process of the right at the middle of the rut, when they were had lost condition and they weren't paying any attention. But these guys are in good shape. But that's not causing him any sense of, now, coming just behind them. Just behind them, sorry, Senzel, we've got some females. And they are smaller. No, there, there's one female there and some young males. Oh, and now he's been given away by a squirrel. Let's go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I don't even know where to look. So now we've got the impala running, and there is the leopard. And just above him, a squirrel has started to alarm call. Now those impala will pick that up. Now he's looking at them longingly, he's fa salivating at the thought of a fresh imp... Ooh, where on earth is he going? That's not how a leopard hunts, that's how a cheetah hunts. Hold on tight. <laughs> Do you see where he went? There he is. Yeah, he's, he's going cheetah style, everybody. Now I'm going to have to try and stay, keep my distance because I don't want to disturb him on his first hunt. He's going straight in front of us, along with 7,000 branches, bushes, trees, holes, rocks. That is fantastic. That really was very special. Yeah, I'm going to have to be very ginger through here, I'm afraid. And I tell you, that's one of the major advantages of the Mara, is that you can drive off-road without sounding like you're running a business... There he is, he's straight in front of us. Without sounding like you're demolishing a building. Hosanna, who taught you to do that? Of course, this grass is a huge... It's an advantage and a disadvantage. Now, Pradeep, you're wondering if he'd share his kill with his sister. I don't think he'd be that hostile towards her. Would he offer her a piece? No. Would he allow her to feed on it once he had eaten a lot? Yes, he might. Now, I say this grass is an advantage and a disadvantage. You can see why it's both. Of course, the impala cannot see him. That's the advantage. The disadvantage, of course, is that he can't see nothing either. He can't see over the top of the grass. Megan, you say, do the impalas know he's too small to take them down? No, if they saw him, that alarm call. Even those big males would be afraid. He's got up, he's moving. But now he's got to guess where they are. He's got to smell. He's got to listen and try and sort of figure out where they've gone. Isn't that wonderful? I love the colour of the three-awn grass with the leopard walking through it. It's beautiful. And you're all, of course, discussing the baby impala that he caught the other day. So, I mean, he has, he has killed antelope. I wonder if he did it cheetah style like this. You know, who am I to tell him how to hunt? I've never killed a baby impala. You see him, Senzel? 
We went just behind these bushes here. Uh, I'm going to go around a bit. I don't want to go directly where he went for fear of running him over. It might be time to leave him to his own devices. Are we looking for moving grass, flicking tail, spot? You cannot believe how quickly these... Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's miles in front of us. He's just in front there. All right, there he is. Let's go across to Jamie. She is knocking about somewhere. I'm not sure what she's looking at, uh, but let's go and find out if she's managed to feed Fergus anything approximating a silkworm.